What? How was that holding? Bah! Oh, hi there. Let's talk about misunderstandings. Several videos ago now, we discussed common misconceptions with DNA testing, but we only really talked about what it means for your ancestry results. This time, we'll talk about what it means for your health reports. The most common mistake people make when they see their health reports is they think each prediction is a guarantee. For example, if you look at your dog allergy report, you might look at yours and see that it says you have a high sensitivity to dog dander. But you have like 13 dogs in your house and never sneeze. Or maybe your reports say you have a low sensitivity to dog dander but you just sneezed goo all over me at the mere sight of all those dogs. If you get a health report that you know is off for you, you're probably wondering, why is this wrong? Well, let me tell you something weird about DNA. In this video series, we've spent a lot of time talking about your chromosomes and how there are tiny sections of DNA within them called SNPs that vary from person to person. When our computer reads your variations on these SNPs, there's really not much room for error. 99.9% .9 of the variations it reads are correctly reported. But here's the weird thing about DNA. Genes have a way of being turned on or turned off. You may have all the right variations in your DNA to be allergic to dogs, but those genes could be turned off in a sense. This phenomenon is called gene expression. If a gene is being expressed, you experience the effects such as a dog allergy. If it's not being expressed, then you're not experiencing the effects like this lamp here. If this lamp is turned on, it shines light. If this lamp is turned off, it does not shine light. Now, let's imagine that I'm inside your DNA right now. Freaky thought, right? And let's pretend this lamp is a variation on one of your snips. A DNA test can't tell whether the lamp is turned on or off. It can only see there's a lamp in the room. It can't see whether or not the lamp is shining light. So, when the CRI scientists put together your reports, they make a prediction based on the variations they see in your DNA. If there's a lamp in the room, then there is a higher probability that there is a light shining than there would be if there was no lamp in the room. If there's no lamp in the room, then there is a lower probability that there is light shining. Of course, there could be a light shining from a source a DNA test can't see, such as sunlight shining through a window. Which brings me to a related point, the old nature versus nurture argument. Your DNA is a powerful, unique thing. I mean, it created you in all your glory, after all. But it's not the only thing that plays into making you who you are. For one thing, there are no genes that predicted what language you speak or what accent you have. There are other factors at play, like where you grew up and how you were raised. The same is true with many of the topics covered in your CRI genetics health reports. There are environmental factors that can play a role in whether certain genes are expressed, such as your diet or the climate you live in. So you could have all the right genes for dog allergies, but those genes could be silenced by factors in your environment or lifestyle. And you could also have no genes for dog allergies, but be allergic to dogs anyway for non-genetic reasons. So, like I said before, 
A DNA test can only see whether you have certain genetic variations. It cannot see whether those variations are turned on or turned off. A DNA test also cannot see what environmental factors are at play. A DNA test simply makes a prediction based on the evidence it can see, like whether there is a lamp in the room or not. DNA tests may sometimes appear to get a prediction wrong just because the genes they saw are currently not expressed or the lamp is turned off. Remember that it's just a prediction, not a guarantee. The best thing about all these health reports is they give you what you need to take matters into your own hands to help your body be the healthiest it can be. We'll cover how to do that in your next video. In the meantime, I have to get back to my game.